the new president. Okay. Go on yeah. <laughs> Our next speaker today is giving his icebreaker. He's a South Carolina native with a BS in criminal justice from the other USC. He's been in the Navy for 15 years. A true Renaissance man, he enjoys learning new skills. Here we go with another one. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Simmons. Friends, Toastmaster, countrymen, let <laughs> me your ears. Allow me to tell you my story, but in terms woven with bardisms or Shakespearean quotes. I shall sum up my life in brief terms because brevity is the soul of wit and shall prove that my wit has abundance of such. <laughs> For those of you who do not know me, it is my desire to become acquainted with you as I further my journey along this path that we are all traveling on to improve our communication and leadership skills and mentorship. According to hindsight, there is nothing good or bad, but thinking makes it so. My past is that which molds and makes me from the clay being that I am. So, who am I? My name is Alexander Lamont Simmons. But what is in a name? Where does my name come from? I was named after my father's brother, who was also a military person, but he was Army and I'm Navy. As with many of my role models, I took away great things that would eventually shape the life that I live and the person that I am. And of course, I choose not to live a life bent on vindication. <laughs> <laughs> what is in the name? Alexander. Greatness, perhaps. Perception is reality. I have been actively doing great things. It is a wise father that knows his own child. It seems that my father knew that I would grow to be a positive reflection of him and my mother. A positive reflection of them indeed. And a loving son who gives back to those responsible for making me the man that I am. Interesting, best describes the morning at 3.15 a.m. on December 19, 1970, when I entered the world and took my first breath. Interesting is because my mother delivered me herself in the rear seat of my father's 1969 Plymouth Fury. <laughs> as dad hurried to the hospital located in downtown Charleston, South Carolina. My hometown where I grew up is <coughs> Chester, South Carolina. A town so small that it doesn't even have a stoplight, a signal light, even a traffic light of any sort, with the one exception. The only light even close to that of a traffic light is the light at the railroad crossing that comes on as the arm lowers to block traffic from crossing during the passing of a train. It's the only flashing light for traffic. My brother, is two years older than I am and is my only sibling. As a younger brother, I followed his lead as a trusty sidekick. <laughs> he was the Lone Ranger and I was Tonto. Don't laugh, but yeah, we were big time Western television viewers. He is the reason that I like basketball and drawing. He is the reason that I enjoy playing chess and doing puzzles. We were very competitive, so I developed that inner drive to be able to adapt and overcome and resist in being what he would call a loser, or even worse than that, a sore loser. In high school, he was on the school band and was an excellent percussionist. As a result, I joined the band and was a fine saxophonist. I also joined the chess club, which, by the way, he was the president. And <laughs> And I started the backgammon cl club. <laughs> We're very competitive. I also joined the chess, the chess club. Uh, excuse me. I, I was a big art club member and later played sports. Joined the basketball team, track team, and basketball teams, all of which were things he didn't do. Those were my pastimes. 
We even played football in the backyard, but because I was on the marching band, I never joined that team to show them up. Not to mention a few government activities and honor clubs that I joined that he was, wasn't a part of. My future was always known to me that I would be a military man. My brother actually joined the Air Force after he graduated from high school. My intentions were to join the Air Force too, but because I got injured during baseball season, I didn't make the, I didn't make the medical uh, wave, I didn't make the medical examination, so I had to delay my efforts. I joined college instead. I had a full scholarship. In high school, I excelled and graduated at the top of my class, being the valedictorian, and I got a full ride. I had aspirations of joining the Air Force like my brother, but obviously I never made it. <laughs> Two years after I got my health back and got my physical conditioning back, I joined the Navy. I jumped out of high school, didn't fail, I just went out of high school and pursued my dream. I've been married twice, I've been divorced twice. When sorrows come, they come not single spies, but in battalions. I thought I'd found happiness, but it has been said that all that glistens is not gold. I have two sons, both very, very good sons, and I love them dearly and hope they fall in my steps as fall in their own drives and be successful at what they do. But parting is such a sorrow, and even now that I have shared with you a glimpse into the, the being that I am, let me not loosen my momentum and grow apart from your friendship. Thank you for listening.